with many Australians finding it increasingly difficult to buy a home. We take a look at how affordable housing really is. When the Prime Minister to be suggested broadcaster John Fain was wealthy enough to shell out for his kids to break into the property market, it sparked a wave of criticism from ordinary Australians. But however out of touch the comment may have sounded, it described a practical reality that has become more common than ever, to the extent that a grey-haired army is invading auctions in Australia's best postcodes, with record low interest rates and astronomical house prices. Buyers in desirable parts of Sydney and Melbourne are increasingly relying on the bank of mum and dad to stump up the cash for deposits that run into six figures. Baby boomers were out in force at two packed auctions held this week to kickstart spring selling season, bidding on behalf of their children. One older couple, who bid unsuccessfully on a $1.3 three million two-bedroom house in Bondi Beach on August 23rd, admitted they were searching on behalf of their kids. We want to give our kids a start. In fact, I bought a unit for my daughter last week. I just had the money, the couple told Fairfax Media. It's about the grandkids. Ray White Double Bay director Craig Ponty, whose Monday portfolio auction was so packed that 50 people were left standing on the footpath, said mum and dad bidders were the norm in Sydney's eastern suburbs. I think it's been going on for a while but more so recently because there's been such price growth in the last three or four years. It's now starting to get out of reach for a lot of people. Quote, Mr. Ponty told News. Com. Oh, unless the parents help the children, then they're not going to be able to live in close proximity to where they are. I know with my own children. When you want to visit your grandchildren you want to visit them close by if you possibly can. He said apartments in Bondi, Bellevue Hill, Rose Bay and Vaucluse were popular with parents helping their kids get started on the property ladder, but starting them into the market here means you're paying a lot of money, he added. For a two-bedroom apartment you're looking at $850. Oh 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 these days. Which is an awful lot when you can buy a house a bit further out for the same sort of money. Helicopter P-A-R-E-N-T-I-N. Oasis property director Gavin McPherson said mum and dad property buyers were the ultimate helicopter parents, while his buyer's agency does not attend auctions, preferring off-market sales. His staff are trained to deal with pushy parents. I ask all my purchases up front to please let me know if there are any significant others. Quote, Mr. McPherson said, Parents think they know everything and they can be domineering. They like to tackle every single little bit of the exercise like it's their own purchase. But if they're putting up a 10% deposit, they've kind of got a bit of a right to be domineering, because that's where their investment is going. With clients looking at properties priced in the millions of dollars, six-figure deposits were the norm. He said, parents were house hunting for children in their early 20s, right through to professionals in their 30s and 40s planning a return home from stints in London, Hong Kong and Singapore. Helping them get settled in the property market was a natural pursuit for their cashed-up retiree. Parents, Mr. McPherson said, but I think they should let the kids experience the exercise of purchase more, he said. They need to live it. Understand how hard it is. Experience missing out. Liaising with an agent. All those things. You only really appreciate what you've worked for. Family pledge loan. If wealthy parents are the magic ingredient for buying property, where does that leave the rest of us? Taj Singh, co-founder and director of First Home Buyers Australia, said only a minority of buyers had access to parental support. It's definitely a big problem in Sydney at the moment, Mr Singh told news.com.au. We did a survey a couple months ago and found that only one in four people in New South Wales were getting 
assistance from their parents in some way, shape or form. People say low interest rates should be helping first home buyers, but that's not the case. Low interest rates don't help those people who are saving for their first home. What it does is give investors more borrowing power so they can borrow more to buy multiple properties. But he said there were new mortgage products on the market designed to help ordinary Australians buy their first home, with a more limited form of parental support. What we're finding is that a lot of the lenders are introducing more innovative products for parents so they don't have to do the full guarantee. Quote, Mr Singh said, Family pledge loans allow parents to give a limited guarantee for the amount usually needed as a deposit, or part thereof, allowing the borrower to pay it off as part of the loan while avoiding mortgage insurance. For those home buyers whose savings have been outrun by climbing house prices, getting a relative to guarantee the extra $20 or so needed could be a good option. Mr. Singh said, Dana.McCauley at news.com.a